Hi everyone, this is Dean from Dean's Washer Videos. Today I'm going to be viewing the Fisher & Paykel Fabric Smart Steam. The model is WH2424F1. This is the North American version, so some programming is slightly different from the Australasian and European versions. Namely, uh, reduction cycle times, because the North Americans generally are used to quick cycle times in the washing machine. I just want to start by saying that I did purchase this machine on my own with my own money. I am not sponsored by Fisher & Paykel or the retailer I bought it from so this is an honest review and I will give you as much pros and cons as I can. So let's get going. It's basically a normal looking front loader although it is a European size so North Americans may perceive it to be tiny and it is technically compared to all standard sizes of laundry appliances in North America. So the size is 8.5 kgs or 2.4 cubic foot. It's 600 millimeters wide or 24 inches wide so it's nice and compact and if you have a small space it's ideal. One thing I have noticed about some people's other reviews in other areas of the world is that they I have seen them shaking a lot and that's purely installation. You need to you read the install instructions very carefully and make sure it's level even though you may take it out of the box put it down and it is very stable if you don't install it fully you will find it it shakes especially around the 800 rpm mark and what you need to do is make sure the locking nuts on the feet are locked down because that's what i found happened it seems stable as i put it out of the box onto the floor but once it hit 8 rpm 800 rpm there was a bit of shaking going on so what i found easiest was to put some clothes in Put it on a spin cycle at 800 rpm which uh, seems to be the most where the most vibration happens then just tweak the feet while it is actually spinning until it is stable and that worked really well and since then i've had no shaking issues at all so i will start overviewing the machine now piece by piece here we have the additive dispenser drawer see there's three compartments main wash pre-wash and fabric softener one of the things that i found be good with this is that you get liquid trays for liquids um, for both pre-wash and main wash and they just come out and if you wish to use powders you just take them out and put your powder in otherwise put them in and put your liquids in and then it won't drain out that's especially good for the pre-wash because if you put liquid in without it it will drain out the draw slides smoothly and you can take it out by pushing the tab here and it comes out easily and that way you can clean it per periodically the main control panel is very nicely laid out it's a very nice display most of the buttons are capacitive touch where they only need a light press or not even a press so you just tap them uh, the only one is the power which is a real button and it needs a push. So the machine defaults to everyday cycle which lasts 59 minutes. Defaults to warm with a 1400 spin. By default there's two rinses. During the everyday cycle wash phase about 10 minutes in there is a vortex process which does a quite a high spin during the wash. Now this is I guess to make sure all the detergent is dissolved and to push a lot of the soapy water through the, the clothing. Next on the dial is heavy. That's a longer cycle. Defaults to hot with also a 1400 spin. Next we have bulky. Obviously for bulky items like duvets, comforters, sleeping bags, whatever you deem is bulky for you. Then we have sanitize. This is a NSF certified sanitize cycle 
with this extra hot it will heat fully to 90 degrees celsius to kill any bacteria allergens whatnot you know all the nasty stuff if you're particularly affected by that then we have permanent press uh, obviously a reduced spin speed to avoid wrinkles and the wrinkle free option is turned on and we have delicate delicate cycle not much really more to say about that and the wool also a very gentle cycle then we have drum clean periodically anyone with a front loader no matter what the brand should be cleaning their machine uh, just gets rid of any build up that happens throughout the normal washing process uh, heats up to a very hot 90 degrees celsius and and does its thing because it's only new we haven't actually run this yet so i'll be interested to see how it performs when we do it and i'll make sure i do video of it for you spin only cycle not much more to say does a spin defaults to 1400 rpm but you can reduce that if you need to uh, rinse and spin once again not much more to say it does a, two rinses and then a final spin and you can reduce the speed of that spin as well quick 30 uh, does a quick wash in 30 minutes defaults to warm 800 rpm you can change those defaults if you want to you'll find on this cycle the wash action just does change and the tumbles become very a lot quicker and there's less pauses between it if you put time saver on on quick 30 it will reduce it to 23 minutes and there is absolutely no pauses between tumbles it will go one direction and then immediately switch to the next sports for your sportswear mainly synthetics i guess this is a another synthetic cycle cottons now this is the main difference between other areas of the world the cycle time is very much reduced and i found because of u.s government energy regulations this is the cycle they've used to get their energy rating and it does not heat at all to the to the selected temperature but as bad as that sounds i found i wouldn't need to use cottons anyway because there's not much different from every day which does heat completely delay start options you can delay from five minutes right up to 12 hours if you have time of day power savings or or you want to schedule it for when you get home uh, time saver that will reduce any cycle time by a certain amount and it also changes the wash actions they become a little bit faster and the pauses between tumbles are shorter or stop completely so it will reverse it immediately okay wash temperature as i said to begin with this is the north american version which covers usa and canada as you may know usa is is not metric yet or i don't know if they ever will be but <laughs> whatever um and canada is fully metric so with the with other areas of the world uh, fisher and parker do use the temperature and degrees celsius but releasing these in in uh, the usa especially they don't use that and canada don't use what usa use so they've just uh, named them cold cool warm hot and extra hot i found that cold is raw cold cool is 30 degrees celsius warm is 40 degrees celsius hot is 60 degrees celsius extra hot is 90 degrees celsius now of course some of the hotter temperatures aren't available on some cycles such as delicate and wool obviously and all cycles except for cotton 
will heat to those temperatures and maintain it until the end of the wash rate. Then we have spin speed, pretty self-explanatory, no spin. 500 RPM, 800, 1100, 1400. Um, and of course, depending on the cycle, that may be restricted down. Say for permanent press, you couldn't do a 1400 RPM spin for obvious reasons. Options, we have Eco, which will increase the wash times, but decrease the temperatures. Wrinkle-free will uh, tumble at the end of the cycle. Soak adds uh, soaking portions throughout the wash phase. Pretty simple. Pre-wash, again, pretty simple. We'll add our pre-wash to the beginning of the cycle. Rinse Plus will add an extra rinse. And Steam will do a steam wash. Now you can see the blue bar across the center size through to every day. This is the cycles that you can activate steam on. What it does is when the machine starts it will take in a small amount of water. Uh, not even really saturating the clothes, it just gets to enough water to cover the heater. Then we'll heat until the water is steaming and that will filter through to the clothing for a period of time and then the machine will fill at the selected temperature and continue with it. It's quite effective for releasing the fibers uh, and the, any allergens, dirt, whatever within trapped in those fibers. At a garment, simply once the machine has started, if you push out at a garment, it will allow you to open the door and add extra items. So once you have selected your cycle that you wish to do and set your options, you just press start and away it'll go. Here we have the drum. It's, as I said earlier, it's a 2.4 cubic foot capacity or 8.5 kilogram. Um, one of the interesting features I like is that when the machine is draining at the end of any phase, it will spray some water down from here across the door glass and also flush out the door boot and I can honestly say it helps with um, draining of soap in the bottom, bottom of the sump and also I've never had any any lint or anything inside the door boot it's always been very uh, clean and clear so in summary overall I'm extremely happy with this washing machine by Fisher & Paykel. Um, it's exceeded actually my expectations. My only con about this machine would be the cotton cycle, but as I said before, I don't feel that's the fault of Fisher & Paykel. That is the um, restrictions in, in the USA for energy usage, but you can easily substitute the cotton cycle with every day which is more than adequate for normal loads or the heavy cycle which is longer if you need a more extensive clean. I would highly recommend this machine as I said before as well um, just be careful with installation make sure the feet are level and the locking nuts are tightened to avoid any shaking issues and that's not a fault of the machine if you don't install it properly and making sure it is done per the instructions will give you a very stable machine. Also in recapping I have seen other comments about balancing issues with these front loaders by Fisher and Paykel but they seem to have worked on it. I've really had no balancing issues. Um, most times it spins perfectly. Uh, Obviously, if you're going to wash one item in a front loader, any brand of machine is going to have trouble balancing and, and spinning. 
Okay, thanks for your time and I will review the dryer, the matching dryer, shortly. Thank you.